Hello everybody, Abram here. Today I'll be talking about my personal favorite drawing exercise of all time, gesture drawings. If you don't want to hear me talk, you can just mute the video and watch the drawings. Either way, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, as you can see on screen, I've been doing these ugly little rough, very rough, very quick sketches. You might think I've just gone completely crazy and I started doing scribble drawings from Photoshop. But this is actually the best possible way to approach a gesture, in my opinion at least. Now, if you're gonna do this, I suggest to try to do it in the wild. Go to a coffee shop, go to a park, and draw real people doing real things. Drawing from life is extremely important when doing gestures. I personally don't have access to art models, but when doing gestures, I tend to go to my local coffee shop. But, because I wanted to show you how it works, today I'll be using photo references from a live drawn website which I'm going to link in the description of this video. When doing gesture drawings, try not to worry too much about this looking good. Most of the time it'll look like absolute nonsense. A good gesture drawing session is going to have you making a hundred of these scribbly looking people, but I swear to god, when you go back to drawing an actual 10 hour piece, you'll be so much better because of it. Another tip which has worked for me, is trying not to look at what I'm drawing. Let me explain. When you start a gesture drawing, I want you to look at the figure and resist the temptation to look down at your paper, at least for the first 10 seconds. Imagine what the object is doing, the intention it has, and the energy of the action. Just keep your eyes on the model, try to go by feel, and you'll notice how slowly but surely, you'll start to loosen up. You'll probably notice that I'm doing increasingly longer drawings now. This is when the usefulness of the exercise is going to become evident for you. Now. If you're just starting with gesture drawings, I suggest you try to make as many short gestures as possible. There's really no need for you to go above, say, 5 minutes. The main reason I'm doing this right now is to illustrate how the gesture is the structural foundation on which you'll later be able to build construction and anatomy. As you can see in the drawing I'm making right now, I'm drawing it through the clothes, thinking about muscles on top of that gesture. The action will guide me through the activation of the muscles. Remember, you should always think big things first, small things second, and the gesture will always be the biggest thing in your drawing, so take care of that first. Now, I'm gonna turn off the clock and just try to do a drawing all the way. This way you'll be able to see the actual application of the gesture exercise. Notice how I begin by just going completely crazy and putting all of my power lines on the empty canvas. This is very gestural in nature, very abstract. And on top of that big gesture, I'm thinking of the gesture of the muscles, the gesture of the fabric, the bones, the fat. When thinking this way, everything has a purpose. Therefore, everything is gestural in nature. Remember, all artworks are abstract at first. They are an abstraction of reality. And the level of abstraction in which you begin will always be super high. You'll notice with your own drawings that after the gestural phase, everything will lose a little bit of power and movement. Don't worry. This is something everyone faces, and I'm also an art student, so I'm still learning to fight it just like you. Someone I admire a lot in terms of gesture is the great master Frank Frazetta, and he personally confessed to enjoying the earlier stages of making a painting way more than the later stages, on which you're just creating more detail, aka rendering. And uh, I'll think that anyone that loves gesture will agree with him 100%. It really becomes a battle to retain the energy as you keep on rendering. So, always keep that in mind. Try your hardest to retain that gesture. If you're wondering what I got this exercise from, I got it from one of my favorite art books of all time. The Natural Way to Draw by Kaima Nicolaitis. I will leave the link to the Amazon page of the book in the description of this video. For anyone who's interested. Well, that was it for today, folks. I hope you find this useful and that uh, some of my tips may be applicable to you and uh, to your practice. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and uh, as always, keep on drawing.